Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. In this slide, in this video, we will investigate what is investigation neutral. Come, uh, let us go with our uh, uh, James Bond 007. And this topic is very important for all pharmacy students. See, three names. <clears throat> One, two, three. NCE, New Chemical Entity. IND, Investigational New Drug. NDA, New Drug Application. These three names create a lot of confusion in all the pharmacy students and also those working in the pharmaceutical industry in the Department of Regulatory Affairs. During the application, during the application filling, okay, during the approval, what is generic drug, branded, all these names are very confusious. Okay, I will give you a clarity in this video. Okay, so within the 10 minutes of the matter, you will get a clear picture what it is actually. Okay, right. The three names are important. These three names are very basic. I don't know who designed these names. You can give Oscar award to him. You can enter his name into the Guinness book. That much of powerfully he wrote, he designed the names. Very See here, very interesting name. See here, I have shown the question mark. So what is the difference? Here, here the person is questioning. What is the difference? Why? See here. First one read, new chemical entity. We are not calling it as a drug. Second line, drug is there. Third name, drug is there. First one, there is no word of drug. Chemical entity. Just we are calling it as a chemical. New chemical entity. What it is? I will explain you what is NCE. See here, NCE, new chemical entity. Here you saw the molecule. This molecule I have synthesized in the my lab. I mixed some oxidation, reduction and all. I prepared. I changed the paracetamol structure and completely I got a new structure, new drug. That's why I, I am calling it as a new chemical entity. I should not in any cost, I should not call it as a, a drug. Keep in your mind. Just new chemical entity not proven in either animals or in the human. Not proven. Keep in your mind. That is very important point. Okay. Now, I have a doubt that it is having some anti-diabetic property or some other any pharmacological activity it is having like that. I have a doubt. I thought it is having, but not proven. Now what I will do is, see here, uh, in the animals, NCE, I will test in the animals. That is called a preclinical studies, animal studies, preclinical studies. I will study it. either what I, my thought, Either it is having a diabetic property or not, any pharmacological activity or not like that. First, I will do the test in them. If suppose, per suppose, if it is a proven in the animals, it is having some pharmacological activity. Now it is proven. That's why you can call it as a drug, new drug. See here, second word, IND. IND means not India here. IND means not India. Here, investigational new drug see i am calling it as now right trial i am calling it as a new drug but it is proven only in the animals not in the humans that's why still it is in under the investigation still it is under the investigation it is a new drug only because it is proven but not proven in the humans that's why i am calling it as a investigational new drug new drug which is under the investigation. That's it. Very simple. Now, you prove in the clinical trials, in the humans, you test the same drug, same chemical structure, no change at all, no group change, no structural activity relationship, no modification of oxidation or hydroxination, no group, group additions, no chemical group deletion, same molecule, the same NCE is the same, IND is also same, ND is also same. Molecular structure, molecular weight, everything is same. Chemical is same. No modification at all in any cast. Only the thing is 
either it is a proven in animals or proven in the humans that is only the difference that's it the you have to conduct the in the new in the humans that is in the clinical trials okay once it is proven then you can say it is a new drug application application you can apply now you can apply to human beings that is called a application now you got new drug application see how nicely they have designed the name new chemical entity just chemical only now investigation new drug and new drug application because it is successfully proven in both preclinically and also clinically these three names create a lot of confusion in the human that's why here you will get a crystal clarity right now yeah this is how you have to develop a drug process drug development process starting point to end point we will see now see this is the first one starting point here you have to start the cycle and here you have to end the cycle starting point drug discovery you want to do a, a drug discovery nce new chemical entity see three color boxes i gave the black color that black color what we saw the names same one to india that is ind investigational new drug and third one is nda new drug application see starting point it is nce is also called as a lead l e a d see now there is a no question molecule i have either i have designed it in the computer by using a cad computer aided drug design and i have synthesized it in the lab or the molecule i have ex, ex, uh, extracted from the plant source or i have extracted from microorganisms or bacteria or from marine source whatever it may be either plant or animal or biological any source you have a new molecule in your that is called a lead l e a d lead now what you have to do you have to conduct a pre clinical trials just now we saw no pre clinical trials in the animals in the animals when you are doing first you do efficacy efficacy that is either it is having a pharmacological action or not not safety safety is secondary here in the animals keep in your mind whereas when you come to the clinical trials see here clinical humans first safety see here safety first next efficacy these points are very important so in the animals what you have to do first efficacy we have to do either it is having a pharmacological action or not why means doing of safety is waste of time first you have to prove that either it is having a pharmacological action then only you can conduct safety is also safety is very important actually but instead of saving the time instead of saving the animals once it is proven a pharmacological action then only we will go for safety otherwise we will throw the molecule and we will take one more molecule and we will start the efficacy again okay if you are conducting safety first so safety is there now efficacy is not there what you have to do it is a waste of time only no that's why first you have to, that is also in animals only first you have to prove it efficacy then safety it took nearly 4 plus years more than 4 years it took keep in your mind that's why you don't waste to the animals okay only ethical committee approval is you need compulsory it is that without that you cannot do this test ethical committee animal ethical committee approval is compulsory now what you have to do ind now it is a proven successful efficacy so i am calling the molecule as a ind investigational new drug now i have to apply to the cdsco central drug standards control organization see my old video i have already made the cdsco it's go and see in my playlist it is there playlists after subscribing the channel go to playlist there i have mentioned cdsco now you apply for that application you bring the application ind file application and you get approval ind okay once you get an ind approval now you can go for clinical trials that is in the humans that is a three phases are there three phases keep in your mind three phases are there first phase 
healthy volunteers you have to take that is also very important point healthy volunteers and you have to prove the safety first just like on the road we will write no safety first speed next here also safety first efficacy next healthy volunteers you have to take since you are not proving efficacy here only safety is there or not rbc count wbc count either organs or ch any changes in the organs any changes in the glands weightage of all the kidney either it is a risk for kidney risk for heart either it is a safety or any any toxicity studies is there or not like that you have to study if there is no toxicity then you can say it is a safety study healthy volunteer even though they do not have any disease you have to call them the volunteers healthy volunteers means what not six pack six pack and having a muscles is not normal rbc count normal wbc count normal body weight okay normal height bmi body mass index all these parameters must be normal then you can say he is a normal person healthy person like that you can say healthy volunteer 28 to 80 you have to select and conduct the safety studies first if safety is proven then only you have to go for patient volunteers here you have to prove the therapeutic action that's why you have to select the patients okay just like corona virus corona patients you call them and uh, you give the vaccine okay or give the medicine of corona tablets are there no that you can give it here 100 to 300 only 100 to 300 prove efficacy and third one patient volunteers you have to take 1000 to 3000 see very bigger group you are taking okay the corona vaccine in the russia without phase 3 they released but later they realized and they did the conducting now okay even russia daughter putin also uh, putin uh, daughter sorry putin daughter uh, also first uh, vaccine was given to her only thousand to three thousand and you have to prove it again efficacy safety is already proven in animals it is reverse keep in your mind total six plus years animals is four plus years nearly 12 years it took to develop a drug molecule after from NEC, starting from nc new chemical entity now what you have to do nda it is also proven in the animals now you can call it a new drug application application you can apply nda application filing it and you get approval once you got approval you can start your production you can start marketing no problem at all government will give right trial license that so 20 years you have a patent 20 years whatever the rate you fix it it will be finalized that's it except some cases because sometimes court and all it thinks in a different manner and it is a it will not accept your rate some cases only not in all the cases you go for market see after market end point post marketing after marketing post marketing approval safety reports after marketing also government keep on watching that is called a med watch program created by the government nearly you have to do a research and you have to find that there is no problem at all like that you have to prove 10 to 12 years you have to study that is called a post marketing approval safety reports suppose if is there any problem you have to call back you have to call entire stock whatever even though it is in the medical shop also you have to get it back not only from that so government will not accept like nimsalide some drugs is there no banned it, entire batches all the batches was recalled if suppose there is any problem see here because in clinicals, we are conducting only up to 3,000 only. 3,000 only you are testing up to maximum number. But you are giving entire world your medicine to. Okay, so how can you tell that because different person having a different genes, etc. and all. So how can you say that it is suitable for all? You are tested only in a 3,000 group. That's why the government has made this program. Post-marketing approval safety reports. So there must not be any problem. Now, here's you. Safety first, speed next, on the roads. Now, in the humans, safety first, efficacy next. Why this? Here there is one interesting point is there. 
even though your drug is having efficacy okay very good efficacy very good pharmacology action but it doesn't have a safety then it is waste only waste utter waste utter plaf film is utter plaf super plaf because it is showing therapeutic action at the same time it is also showing the toxic action so that's why it, that's why it is waste and now come to the reverse even though your drug is not having the therapeutic action if it is a safe then you can use it no problem at all either small therapeutic action is also enough but safety is important safety first speed next safety first efficacy next keep in your mind that is in the humans when you are doing in a preclinical reverse of it see this is one of the clinical trials by the suven suven life sciences here you can see the image suven life sciences new chemical entity nc see here 3031 first clinical trials us fda has given the approval it is using for the alzheimers and the schizophrenia like that all this type of news is you have to keep on following that then only you can say you will become expert then only okay yeah and thank you thank you very much for your uh, james john and after subscribing you go to playlists there you can find all my videos thank you